food can be complicated. For the majority of us, we have no idea about how the food that we're eating every day is affecting our body. Well, it doesn't have to be that way anymore, thanks to a lovely contraption called a continuous glucose monitor, or CGM for short. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about this bad boy right here that I've been wearing for the last two weeks that helps you monitor your glucose levels to let you know how you're doing and see if you're making the right decisions. But before I jump in, if you're new here, my name is Michael and we're all about exploring how to become the healthiest versions of ourselves. And also as a quick disclaimer, this is not medical advice. Please advise your doctor before making any big decisions. This is purely just me treating myself like a guinea pig and sharing my experience and learning with you guys. So what's awesome about a glucose monitor is all these various activities like our sleep, if we're stressed out, if we're exercising, if we had a carbohydrate dense meal or refined sugar, our glucose levels are going to be affected. And being able to take your phone and literally tap it against the device and know in real time is just magic to me. By looking at the data, we can know whether or not we made a good decision or a bad decision and therefore it helps us make better decisions in the future. So I feel like a lot of you might be asking the same question that I asked myself, kind of just being like, hmm, why blood? Why blood glucose? How is this telling me the actions that I'm doing or the food that I'm eating is good or bad? I, I don't understand this. So to simply put it, blood is an incredible biomarker that lets us know how metabolically fit we are. By the way, Metabolic fitness is simply put, how efficiently our body is able to take the energy that we give it, for example, carbohydrates, break it down through metabolism and actually use it right away in our body or store it later in a form of glycogen. And what's awesome about metabolic fitness is we can all achieve a high metabolic state. However, we just have to put in the time and effort. And what's awesome is once we get there, the benefits are freaking incredible. I'm talking sustained energy, better mood, easier to lose fat. There are so many. I'm just gonna list an article down below, but I hope this at least got you a little bit excited for what this can do for us. What's awesome about this is this CGM can actually kind of help complete the health trinity or at least give a really comprehensive way for people like you and me to be able to track our fitness levels. So we can use Aura Ring to track our sleep, an Apple Watch to track our fitness levels, and then we can use uh, a company like Levels to use a CGM to see if the food and activities we're doing every single day are good or bad for us. And then we can use companies like Viome to know what is good or bad. And then DNA tests, oh, it is just such an exciting future. Also, to quickly pause the video right here, feel free to subscribe down below and like this video. It really helps me improve my relationship with the YouTube algorithm. All right, so this CGM works pretty simply. It more or less just goes into the fatty part of your tricep. It's really easy to put in and honestly doesn't hurt at all. You see the needle and you're just like, ah, I don't know if I wanna do this anymore and then you actually do it, and it doesn't hurt at all. I'm not kidding. Have your friend go pinch you on the arm. I promise that's probably gonna hurt more than the CGM being inserted into your body. Ugh. Inserted into your body doesn't seem very appealing. And then it will basically just stick on your arm. Trust me, this thing is not going anywhere. It is quite hard to pull off, and you can wear it in the shower, and you can just wear it whenever. However, if you're exercising in it, it's recommended to have a patch over it. I know companies like Levels actually provide a patch like that, but you can easily go and buy one on Amazon. By the way, for myself, all I ended up doing was just going to Abbott and buying a freestyle Libre from them, and it lasts for two weeks. The price for one of them is 35 bucks, but considering you're not really changing your life up a ton, you don't need really more than one. Ideally, you'd have two, 
The first one to just kind of measure your baseline and then the next time you change something, you use that and see the difference between the two. But the average person is not changing their nutrition all the time, changing their habits and all these other various things. We're creatures of habit and usually we are pretty consistent. So don't worry, you don't have to go out and spend hundreds of dollars to go get a full year supply. It's not that serious, just test whenever you have new changes in your life. And kind of for something to strive for. Ideally, we want to have as flat glucose levels as we can, and we don't want to have many spikes that usually will come from a really carbohydrate dense meal or something that has a crap ton of sugar. And all you have to do to know your current blood glucose levels is go on the Freestyle Libre app by Abbott, then just touch it to the part it gives you that lovely feedback sound and that's it. By the way, keep in mind, it will only collect data up to eight hours. So if you forget after more than eight hours, you might lose a bit of data. So make sure you're scanning decently often. The ideal times that we wanna be checking at is when we have a meal and then two hours after our meal to see how our body has reacted and if it's gone down to baseline. And to actually track my food, I use this application called Eight, and it's much simpler than MyFitnessPal. I've used MyFitnessPal in the past and it can just be a little clunky and there's a lot of friction there. But what Eight allows you to do is you just take a picture of your meal and because a lot of us eat the same thing every single day, you're gonna know what's in there and you can see the quantities and you can kind of understand Oh, was this a carbohydrate dense meal? Was there a lot of crap in this? Stuff along that line. And let me know down below in the comments if there's anything that I missed that you would be interested about me talking more about. So now, for my results. Initially, I put it on and I checked my glucose level. I was like, hmm, this is higher than what I expected. I was thinking, oh, my glucose is gonna be optimized right away because I, I eat a, a paleo diet and it's not really full of too many carbohydrates. In general, I'm very hard on myself. So I was like, ah, it needs to be optimized already. So immediately I got worried after the first 24 hours and I was about mid about to send an email to my functional medicine doctor and kind of just be like, oh my God, I'm worried about this. We need to check this out. But then my friend told me, Look, Michael, you have no data to compare it to. You can't be comparing yourself to everyone else, especially the super optimized people of the world. She recommended to me, just track for two weeks and then you can progressively, 1% every single day, get better and better towards your goal. So from this whole experience, I learned two main things. The first one being that going for a walk after eating is amazing for your blood glucose levels. When I ended up doing that, instead of it actually going up, it would go down a little bit, which was quite fantastic. So if you're ever thinking you're gonna have a pretty carbohydrate dense meal, going for a walk after is gonna kind of help uh, offset it quite a lot actually. Then the second thing was one of my meals that I thought was super healthy for myself. And don't get me wrong, uh, there's so many amazing things like vitamins and minerals and others that are in there for my body. However, I realized there's too much fructose in there from, I imagine, the blueberries and the one apple. So I'm working to kind of modify that a little bit so I don't have such a high spike in glucose. But it's crazy. You think something is completely fine and then you actually look at the data and then it's not. So it was pretty eye-opening for me that always rely on the data ideally. And then relative to the experience of actually wearing the CGM for the two weeks, seriously, it wasn't obtrusive at all. Majority of the times I actually forgot about it and I'd be like stripping off my clothing and I'd be scared that I was gonna like rip it off just cause I completely forgot and it'd catch a bit of my clothing. Also over time, it's kind of the, not the adhesive on your skin, but the actual disc is gonna start coming off just a little bit. It still works completely fine. I imagine after sweating a little bit and being in the shower, it can just lose some of its stickiness. And also putting it on is seriously not as bad as you might think. You're gonna look at the needle and you're just gonna be like, mm, 
Mm, damn, that's a big needle. Have a friend pinch you, that's gonna hurt more than the needle. Once it's in, for like two hours after, you're gonna be like so aware of it. You're gonna be like straining your arm and be like, oh, I can't, I can't move. And every single time you move your arm, you're gonna feel it. But once you kind of get it out of your head, you literally just completely forget about it. The first night though, I, I, I kind of felt strange to sleep, but I'm not kidding. It was just all in my head. So now that I've actually experienced this, this is 100% going to be a tool in my toolkit that I'm always going to use whenever I make big life changes or even small little ones that I think can affect my life. And I wanna see how they're affecting my metabolic fitness. Also, I'm really excited for companies like Levels um, and NutriSense to kind of grow and make this more accessible to the rest of the world. I really wanna try out Levels stuff see how it really works and see how their user experience on their app is just because Abbott Freestyle Libre is nice but it's more tailored for people that have diabetes. All right, I hope that was helpful guys. If you're interested in more content like this, check out my video here about blue light blockers and how they help us improve our sleep so that we can get to bed easier. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.